Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Synolvia Tech Talk. My name is Jonathan Reynolds and today we're going to talk about Brave versus Start Page. How can I make something like Firefox, stock Firefox, more secure like Brave? Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, Brave actually uses a system called Brave Shields which can cro uh, block creepy things from different websites. Now here on Brave, uh, you have that option um, to turn off or whatever you want, but it comes in as stock. You can, uh, it also gives you the option to do tokens and stuff like that, but that's not where, what we're talking about today. Let's go ahead and pull up Firefox. Now you might not see much of a difference beca because after all, these are both from the Manjar repository, so it brings up the Manjar website. Let's look up its FOSS. It's going to take you to Google. And we know that Google is not good for privacy. And this is default out of the box. Manjaro's packaging of Firefox. Whereas if I go on Brave and I search its FOSS, when you first start it up, it gives you a choice what... Uh, search you want to use, but people saying, oh, there's a Brave search, they'll probably end up using that. And uh, there is little to, there is little to basically no creepy tracker things, as it says. Now, you you could say, um, you could always just use LibreWolf. It has uBlock Origin built in and a few other anti-tracking tools, right? Well, yes, very true. But who wants, um, Liberoff, or excuse me, Liberwolf, still is just a flat pack. It's not packaged in the repositories of any official distribution yet, or packaged in a PPA. So, unfortunately, we have to stick with what we got because, well, some people don't like the theming. So, let's go ahead and just stick with what we got and secure what we got. StartPage recently announced that they had a privacy protection extension. Basically, once you install their extension, go click Add to Firefox. You click Continue and in Installation. And then, of course, they'll have this. That's pretty normal because that's what uh, over here on Brave it does. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and add it. Would like to change your default from Google to start page. Let's go ahead and say yes. That way we have the level of integration that we do on Brave. Okay, cool. That's okay. Now, one thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to uh, customize toolbar. Uh, if I can find, let's go in the overflow menu, get out of the way. Oh, yeah. So I moved it over here. It does not automatically go there. All right, let's go. And then we're just going to go through that. Let's go to a common website. So we went to YouTube. It blocked one tracker, and it doesn't have any cookies right now. So, and I could always manage that. So YouTube is a level two. A uh, site may be owned by a major tracking network, and its privacy score is a two out of five. Now let's get to a uh, news website. We're talking... 11 trackers, 5 cookies that were blocked. Okay. If we go to the same website over here, we can see that Brave has blocked 14 creepy things, which is cookies and cross-site trackers. So basically, I just wanted to make a video to show that this privacy extension exists that can be installed on Firefox and Chrome from start page. So if you're running uh, Chromium, or if you're running uh, Firefox, or even Liberal Wolf, I don't know why you would replace uBlock Origin, but if you're running any of these um, major browsers, you can 